All right, welcome to CyberTech at Risk Talk. And today we are very excited to have uh, Helen Oakley from SAP to join us. Helen, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Brian. So at the beginning, can you quickly introduce yourself? Absolutely. Yeah. So first of all, I know you mentioned SAP. First of all, I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast. What it means, I, I really think that security is important. Okay. Um, how we secure uh, our technology, right? right? How we defend ourselves as individuals. Right. Um, that's why I like to educate people in cybersecurity, and mm -hmm. that comes to work, um, right. and or uh, we educate women and kids okay. um, to make sure that you know we um, we share the knowledge and we make sure that we provide the best opportunities to be secure at different angles. Okay, wonderful. From a work perspective, I do work for SAP, okay. and my title is Security Product Owner. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you elaborate on that one? <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so what it means is that, um, you know, in Agile world, product owners, yeah. they define requirements for the products, right? Okay. So security product owner defines security requirements for the product. Oh, so okay. it's not specifically maybe as a security product itself, oh, like okay. antivirus, right? right? But I'm responsible for financial services, web applications, okay. banking and insurance. Right. And my responsibility is to make sure that security of those applications okay. is provided and built in from, right. from default. So I provide the requirements and make okay. sure it's compliant and assessment and ethical hacking as well. Wonderful. Yeah. So basically you own the security requirements for the, all of the products, for the financial, for the for your clients. Okay. Res responsibility, because uh, from SAP perspective, um, the whole organization mm -hmm. uh, goes by same security standards and controls, okay. right? So we, we want to make sure it's not just one single product. Right. Um, everybody is following okay. the same procedures. Right. So we do have requirements, and we make sure that we interpret the, those requirements into the product. Okay, and also implement that consistently yes. in yes. Uh, I guess because SAP is such a large organization, there's thousands of product lines, things. Right? Uh, absolutely, yeah. yes, yes. Wonderful. All right, so, and uh, you mentioned ethical hacking, and actually today's topic is ethical hacking. So what's your view on that one? I think it's important. Yeah. And if we think about um, I, when we build functional features, right, um, we test them. Or we test features okay. before we give it to customer. Right. If you think about security as a feature of product, and uh -huh. I know it's controversial thinking yeah, okay. <laughs> for some at least, yeah. uh, we want to also verify somehow or test our products for security. So this is where ethical hacking comes. Right? Okay. So it, it can be um, uh, compared to some sort of a testing. And actually we do call it as a pen test as well, okay. like penetration yeah. testing. So we do... Um, the security vulnerability checks and right. then more complex scenarios to make sure that there are no flaws, no gaps in vulnerability. Okay. So it's a very important process to do before you release your product mm -hmm. to customers. What I hear a lot of uh, quality control mm -hmm. and also meet uh, the, you mentioned the security, you are the product owner from an agile perspective. Mm -hmm. So basically you need to meet your standard for yes. security requirements, Absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. And as a security expert, our right. standards are high. Yeah, yeah. obviously, <laughs> yeah, of, of course. Yeah. All right, and how long have you been in uh, security kind of a domain? I, about maybe seven years, Okay. six, seven years. It started, right. um, it started slowly, so it wasn't as full-time mm -hmm. uh, security. I was in different roles before. Right. Um, DevOps, um, okay. QA, and scripting. Which is also very yeah. important because security yes. overlap yeah. with a lot of things. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then when more security start coming into the industry and people start talking more, yeah. um, I started to get involved more on that topic. Okay. And the first, um, aside of understanding what security is, right. um, I just dove like in a cold water into the pen testing. Okay, so, so you start with pen testing, <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah. um, that was um, my, I was so curious about this. Mm. I didn't have any experience in this and it was a learning um, more on a job, yes. in the evenings, you okay. know, just reading. A lot and, of learning. <laughs> and uh, keep try and, um, and test it, so. Okay. Um, that was really um, memorable yeah. of uh, how um, how I started, and okay. and we had a small team of pen testers. Yes. So that's 
was built uh, for the product that I was working on at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, um, about the career in general, I, I look at this not as a single moment, okay. but more as a consistent experience. Because we, cybersecurity involves a lot of learning all the time. For sure, yes. And um, it's the um, understanding of um, how, what's the impact it makes and what is your result at the end. Okay. This is what is so interesting, the result of your research. You know, something new always comes up and okay. you have to learn about it and right. try to be a step ahead yeah. of everything, yeah. right? Or at least match up the yeah. latest threats. <laughs> so yeah, it, yeah. it's like uh, you have to always learn new things. Actually, there's so every time there's new things pop up, mm -hmm. you always stay, stay the current or maybe a, a step ahead of the current. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Um, okay, so that's about your career. Um, we are from the cyber tech at risk. So mm -hmm. a lot of people come to our events and they care about cyber technologies. Also, they care about risk. Mm -hmm. And they care about how those two things can work together. So that's the reason we call cyber tech at risk. Yes. So do you have any tip for them, like uh, since you're in this industry for a while? Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I would break it down perhaps into three categ categories. Right? Oh, wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Um, in regards to ethical hacking, yes. just because it's today our theme. Right. So if you are planning to become an ethical hacker yes. or a penetration tester, okay. and you thinking how to get into that, right. I would say first thing, just get your hands dirty. Okay. Start playing with the tools. There's a lot of um, open source right. uh, tools um, there okay. that you can use. Uh, also educational platforms, right? right. Um, and get involved and that's how you will learn. So it's not just going to come in one day. Okay. And um, penetration tests and ethical hacking right. uh, activities are very complex and it requires practice okay. right, and understanding. So just get in there, but right. make sure you do it on authorized system. Oh, for sure. Otherwise, it's yeah. illegal. You need to get a yeah. permission to do that. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Okay. For a second group of people who yeah. are already penetration testers, okay. right, or hackers, good, yeah. I have one thing for you. Okay. Um, and it's easier said than done. All right. Soft skills. Soft skills. Well, it's very important to yeah. be able to communicate what you do and right. why you do to people who have no idea what it is. And okay. I find that um, it, it is very challenging to gain that experience, but it's very important for security experts and pen testers. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And the last one yeah. would be for managers or business owners. Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. You move up uh, like yes. a career yes. fast. Yes. Okay. So, um, for managers or business owners, again, I, I, I will come to my comparison with the features, right? right. Functional features. Right. Think about security as your business driver, right? Mm. Not hindrance. Okay. Uh, you would look at this as a feature that you provide with your product to your customers. Yes. And if you have that feature, you need to test it. Right? Okay. And I know everybody says, oh, it's so ex expensive. Oh, we don't know what it is, right? Yeah. It's not tangible enough. But in reality, it is because yeah. once you have this, once you think of it as right. a feature, you also provide this as a feature to your customers, and wow. that's why I say it's a business driver. Your right. security. I think that's a, you beautifully uh, say mm -hmm. that one because just like a car, right? So safety yeah. is a feature. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Sounds yeah. like there's all kind of luxury things, <laughs> but uh, safety actually is a core, just yeah. like a security. Wonderful. Yes. All right, thank you very much. I, we learned actually quite a lot from your insights. <laughs> and thank you very much for coming to our platform. Thank you, Brian, thank you. for having me. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm.